We learned a lot of muscles. Now we got to figure out how all of this stuff works together and where we're going to go with it as far as exercise selection. So, human movement science rule number one. All systems will be involved in human movement, muscular, skeletal, neural, and fascial. Every once in a while I get in this, these arguments about, well, is that a fascial problem, a muscular problem, or an articular problem? Yes. <laughs> right? All these systems work together. They can't be divided out. You guys know the rules of the human, you already know the rules of the skeletal system. We talked about that yesterday. When we start talking about arthrokinematics and joints, you start going a little deeper than we did yesterday. It's not just bone to bone. You start realizing that the shape of each of those bones and how they meet, they capsule around that joint. The ligaments, cartilage, synovial membrane, articular discs, bursa, and those ligaments we talked about yesterday all affect how that joint moves. The more knowledge you have about all those things, the more you can potentially affect. Now yesterday we talked about osteokinematic motion. This is just vocabulary, guys. Osteokinematic motions are large joint motions, motions of bones, and we name osteokinematic mo motions flexion, extension, rotation. You guys already know this stuff. You just didn't know that those are osteokinematic motions. Arthrokinematic motions are small amplitude movements that happen between joint surfaces. Also not particularly complicated. There's spin, glide, roll, compression, and distraction. Now in order to visualize these arthrokinematic motions, all you really have to do is think of a cue ball on a pool table. You guys with me? Roll. There's my table, right? If I told you to roll the ball, what would you do? It'd roll, right? And move in that direction. Arthrokinematic roll, same thing. If I told you to spin the cue ball, what would you do? Yes, you'd spin it like a top, right? So, if this is the top of my table, and I'm looking down at the cue ball, how would I spin it? How would it spin? Sure, I could spin this way. That's all spin is. If I told you to glide the cue ball, yeah, you do that little like push thing with no spin or roll, right? So you just kind of shove it that way, slide along the table. If I told you to compress the cue ball. <laughs> You'd just mash it. You'd just mash it into the table. It probably wouldn't get very far, but you'd mash it into the table. And distraction, what's distraction? Or traction. Yeah, you'd just pull it away from the table. Now, these arthrokinematic motions do become very important when we start talking about joint motion because these things have to happen a certain amount together.
Let's go back to the shoulder. This is my glenoid fossa. And we're going to say, this is my humeral head with my humerus sticking out. We'll say this is a top-down view. You guys cool with that? What joint action would this be then? Horizontal adduction, right? I'm sorry, just big joint action, osteokinematic motion. This would be horizontal adduction, right? We'll say we're talking about a bench press. We're doing this. Right? You guys can pretend that this is the elbow and that I have a ginormous 400 pounds on this. Of course, we're talking about my bench. So, as I go into horizontal adduction, what is my humeral head going to do? It's going to roll, right? It's going to roll. That's what it's going to do. But what happens if it keeps rolling? It's going to fall out of the glenoid fossa. Not a great thing while you're doing bench press. <laughs> so what does my shoulder joint also have to do? How, do, how is it going to stay centered in this joint? It's got to glide. And you're absolutely right. To stabilize against that much load, my rotator cuff might come in and compress to stabilize. You guys kind of see how that works together? That's it. That's arthrokinematics. That's all it is. It's just looking at these terms to see how we're going to keep a joint centered against another bone. Not terribly complicated, right? I think people like to try to make this complicated. It's not that complicated. Can I erase this? That looks fancy. One of my better diagrams, I think. 